Alors c'est quoi que j'appelle The artist Claude Monet is often regarded as the father of impressionism. It was in his wake that artists such as Pierre Auguste Renoir and so many others were to follow. Today, these names are the most sought after in the world of art. The tragic Dutch-born artist Vincent van Gogh was one of those who were also part of this general movement. The Impressionist movement was arguably the single most revolutionary artistic movement in modern history. It made art accessible to all, featuring ordinary everyday subjects, people and places, and it gave life and movement to paintings that it has never done before. And they pushed the boundaries of respectability wherever they could. Impressionist painters actually perfected the art of making the complex look simple and more alive than it ever did before, capturing everyday life, whether they were middle-class Parisians having a boat party or Provencal peasants resting in the shade of the midday sun. A lot of people think that it started in Paris or somewhere like Arles in the south of France depicted here, but it all began instead in Normandy with this painting, Impression Soleil Levant, or Impression Sunrise, and specifically at this point on the old harbour in Arles where Monet painted Impression Sunrise on the 13th of November, 1872. Just opposite is Lerard's wonderful modern art gallery, Musée d'Art Moderne André Malraux, or MUMA for short. Inside here is a superb collection of Impressionist paintings, the finest in France outside of Paris, but in terms of telling the real story of the birth of Impressionism, it's undeniably number one, with its brilliant collection of the real father of French Impressionism, the one that Monet and everybody has followed, and that was Henri Boudin. Here you have an work from 1851, which is a work called Le Pardon de C'est la première œuvre que Boudin présente au salon. Et quand on vous s'approche, vous allez voir qu'on est devant une œuvre de Boudin extrêmement achevée, extrêmement précise dans ses détails. Dans, chaque, dans le rendu des vêtements des personnages, on est vraiment dans, dans la précision des débuts d'un artiste qui vraiment fait bien, travaille vraiment extrêmement bien. Et puis, vous avez vu. The meeting places of the Impressionist painters in the mid-19th century was here, the Cap saint Simeon, just across the harbour in Ouvre. This was the headquarters general for Boudin and all his gang, who came here to take a step back from the rest of the world and get painting. The main building of the property hasn't changed too much fundamentally since those heady days and Monet of course used to stay here in the room on the top right. Nowadays, the Ferme Saint-Simeon is a top-end five-star hotel where a huge number of film stars from France, Hollywood and beyond have rested their beautiful weary heads and where they too have been able to admire the views from the lawn of the ever-changing light and the Seine estuary that the Impressionist painters love so much. It has to be said that the facilities here are quite stunning with a level of service and relaxation that's very hard to come by. There's even a resident artist who works from this workshop here. At the back, there's a sheltered terrace, which offers peaceful views of the estuary. And they have something quite unique for the smokers still out there, a ventilated smoking room. Just a short walk away is the impossibly beautiful town of Enfleur, with its charming portside ambiance and atmospheric medieval streets. It's like a real-life film set and attracts huge numbers of tourists in the summer. It also has a unique cathedral that's built entirely out of timber with a separate bell tower and whose interior is designed to resemble a twin-hulled upturned boat. Further up along the coast in Normandy, you come to a beautiful spot again associated with the Impressionists. 
Etretat is a very pleasant seaside town, a fish and chips kind of place with a wonderful beach at the end of it and lovely atmosphere. We stayed at the Detective Hotel, it's the perfect spot to stay in and is an experience in itself, just a stone's throw from the beach. Each room holds a secret that is to be uncovered by clues. This for example is the Miss Marple room, but you'll have to stay there yourself to discover the mystery here. The stunning cliffs were the subject of many impressionist paintings in Etretat, and Monet was a regular visitor painting these scenes. One of the best aspects of visiting Etretat today, in fact, is to see just how little it has changed in over 100 years. Mm -hmm.